Wooski got caught with a gun that was used to kill T-Roy. That's what a lot of rumors is about right now. And I see those videos. I'm not saying it's not true. I'm not here to debunk every rumor on the internet. I don't know if that's true, but I haven't heard that. Uh, I can tell you though, that we all seen the videotape. I think we to a point where we can confirm that that was TB and get right in the video when T-Roy lost his life. Uh, I don't think that's a secret. I think we all know that. I think we at a point we all can come clean and say, yeah, that was them in the video. Uh, that captured them killing T-Roy. As crazy as that sound, that play a major part in why FBG ducked that. Uh, and people don't know that. A lot of people say it was a hundred thousand dollars. That was, that was fake shit that the feds put on that. That was rumors. That was video influence. I think that was to say that O Block is a gang and they they own entity. They wear O Block chains. They do this. I think that's what that was about. But uh, clearly, if you watch that shit, you can clearly tell T Roy and them killed. Uh, I mean, T Roy was killed by like T B and them. Um, Duck was killed in revenge and retaliation for that death, not for no hundred thousand dollars. F B G Duck was killed because T Roy was killed because of like shootings of Jay Money and O.D. Perry. And then, you know, 63rd and like them because of killings of K.I., Tuka, Modell, more other people and shit like that. We didn't see the videos. A lot of this shit ain't fake. Some of this shit was real. Uh, hit the like button. We finna talk about this. Goal on this video, 1,500 likes. A lot of people need to hear about this. Cause D-Thing, Lil Dirk brother got mixed in on this shit too. Because a lot of people don't know. I didn't do my research extensive. D thing was killed in retaliation for FBG Duck. He was. Now, was it one of Duck homies who had anything to do with that? That's kind of policey. I wouldn't say that. I don't think that. This club was in Harvey, Illinois. I just think this was more like a BDGD thing. I don't know if this was just like, you know, Duck homies that did this shit. I just think this was GDs who didn't like that nigga in the club. You know, there's been a lot of people being killed. JoJo was killed. Duck was killed. It was other more people that were shot down, gunned down. And people feel like Duck. Dirk was behind a lot of this shit from name dropping and shit, even if he wasn't, but from the fact that he was name dropping and dissing people, it made it feel like that shit. And d thing came back to those neighborhoods and those clubs. Remember, even though it's the suburbs, it's a lot of people in Chicago that lost their life at them suburban clubs. Them clubs don't play no games. A lot of people begin getting down at this shit. But a lot of people don't know when d thing was killed, it wasn't no secret. d thing was in a big ass argument inside of this club, even spilled outside. He was in a big ass argument. It was punches thrown and all kind of shit. This wasn't like a secret where somebody just walked up on him and shot him and nobody knew what happened. This was a big ass altercation outside to the point where even the police officer was shot. You know, it was a shootout, all kind of shit outside. Somebody ran up on d thing and hit him in the head, shot him right in the head. The person who was with d thing. Uh, they call him the pain. I actually had an opportunity to interview him. I talked to him, you know, and you can feel, you know, his hurt in his chest. A lot of people don't know that, you know, that guy was shot too. He almost lost his life and d thing was killed. A police officer was shot. It was more shootings and shit. Later on that night, police believe it was a retaliation killing uh, for the person that killed d thing His name was Seneca. I'm not saying he the person behind that death, but the police believe he was retaliation for d thing death. You know, Harvey is well known to have a lot of GDs out there, especially in that club, that club, GD Central. d thing was in there. You know, Dirk Rich, he's famous. He's never in the area. You never gonna get a chance to run up on him. He got thousands of securities with him and the goons and shit. d thing was in that club with just a couple homies. You know, and that was one of the only chance people really had to get that close up on him and shit like that. Uh, as crazy as that sounds, you know? He was killed, he caught a headshot. His homie got shot up. You know, that said, a lot of people says that, you know, that was just some random shit. I didn't spoke to plenty of people that told me that was in retaliation of FBG Doug Uh Not saying they had anything to do with it, but a lot of this shit didn't been played out already, man. We're not faking on this internet. We're gonna be honest on this shit, man. We didn't see a lot of killings. Uh, Duck wasn't killed because of a hundred thousand. That always been a rumor. He lost his life because there was a war going on between these two neighborhoods for a long ass time. Then King Von came home. Remember, T-Roy was his best friend. He know who killed his best friend. And Duck was around those niggas all the time. Duck gave them the clout. Them were Duck homies. Get Right was Duck left-hand man. TB was Duck right-hand man. He was around them all the time. That brung up the hate even more for King Von towards Duck. You know, Duck was hanging with niggas that killed his homies. We can't forget White White, the story of White White. That was another close friend of King Von that was shot down and gunned down uh, by 50 shots, which was cool with Duck. 
So I just tell people that shit, man. I wanted to do this video because a lot of people was asking me about D-Thing. What happened to D-Thing? And is it real about uh, Wooski being caught with a gun that killed T-Roy? I see that too. I hear the rumors about that too. I'm not sure. I can't verify that, that he was caught with a pistol. I can't verify that, but I can tell you that. You know, that shit is pretty much stemmed. There's videos about that. Police know about that. TB and Get Right was behind the depths of T-Roy. And uh, retaliation happened from that moment. It never ended. You know, so all the rumors about $100,000, that was fake. That was the fair tactics to use to make sure the jury hear it. That was the fair tactics used to make sure the jury knew that this guy had enough money to pay for this shit. This guy had a vendetta. The, 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 the hunting on his head was to show that this is organized crime and shit like that. And it worked. Those guys were convicted. Um, but as far as him really putting 100000 on somebody's head, I don't see that. Because the guys who were locked up weren't even... It's guys who were locked up on the case were part of... Look, the guys that were locked up on the case, it's like three or four of them who didn't get no money in that video when... when Bar was splitting up the 100,000. Remember that. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the like button. It's the homie truth. <laughs>